A few years ago, I had the privilege of spending the winter living and working in Milford Sound, one of the most beautiful places I have ever visited. Now, Milford Sound is located all the way on the South Island of New Zealand, where it is referred to in the indigenous language as Pio Pio Tahi. Now, to reach this remote destination, one must start in the town of Teano and drive along the Milford Road about 120 kilometers or a two hour drive into the heart of the Fiordland National Park. Now, Milford Sound is actually a misnomer because it is not actually a sound, but geographically it is a fjord because it was formed by glaciers. And as you can see, as the road takes us into the heart of the Fjordland National Park, it gets very mountainous, having to travel through a tunnel here before eventually ending at Milford Sound. So now let me show you what it's like to live in this incredible and amazing place. And here we are, driving to my new job in Milford Sound. It's about a two hour drive from the nearest town. There's no cell service. So, slowly getting into the remote parts of New Zealand. This is the world's most beautiful drive. Have to get through the tunnel first. Waiting for the tunnel. Just straight ahead. Because you can't get through this giant wall. Here we are in the tunnel, carved entirely by hand. And the other side of the tunnel is just as gorgeous. And here we are in Milford Sound. Just look at that view. It is so beautiful, this view never gets old. But the best way to see Milford Sound is to get out on the water. And here I am on the bow of a boat, enjoying a nice scenic cruise. Now, there are actually a number of different cruise operators. It does not matter which one you choose. I've tried them all and they're all great. They each take you on about a one and a half to two hour cruise of the fjord. And the best part about visiting in winter is that there are hardly any tourists. So you're almost guaranteed a spot on any of these cruises. So you can just sit back, relax, and enjoy the view. And no journey to Milford Sound would be complete without seeing a few waterfalls, like this one, Bowen Falls, which actually supplies the drinking water and electricity to the small village of Milford Sound. And if you're lucky, you might get to reach out and touch a waterfall. And here is Sterling Falls. At about 151 meters, this is one of the most stunning of the waterfalls in the fjord. It's been featured in several movies. Sterling Falls is supplied by a nearby glacier, and if it looks stunning now, just wait until you see it when it rains. During a rainstorm, you can see the falls have practically doubled in size. But hey, there's nothing wrong with a little rain. In fact, one of the best ways to see Milford Sound is in the middle of a rainstorm. Most of the waterfalls only exist when it's raining. Here's a few mountain streams that decided to come out and play in the rain. Just a little thousand foot cascade down into the water. And here we see the four sisters. These four waterfalls only come out in the rain. And in Milford Sound, it rains about 200 days of the year. And here at the base of Cascade Peak, I cannot even count all of the waterfalls. Just spectacular. And it's not all waterfalls. You'll most likely spot on your cruise one of these guys. Here we see a fur seal swimming around. The seals like to hang out on the rocks here. And if you're lucky, You'll spot these guys, some bottlenose dolphins. Here they are, following the ferry boat as we speed along through the fjord. And if you cross your fingers and are really, really lucky, you might just spy a penguin, like this little blue penguin here, which is the smallest penguin species in the world. But usually, as soon as you spot a penguin, they disappear back into the water. And if you really want to see any of these animals up close and personal, best way is to take a kayak tour. Now here's an animal you probably won't see out on the water. This is a kia. 
the world's only alpine parrot. These birds are very inquisitive and have the intelligence of about a four-year-old. They have adapted to live in the high mountains of New Zealand, but frequently like to hang out in places like Milford Sound. But these curious fellows are always up to no good, and you gotta be careful because they like to rip the rubber weather stripping off people's cars and pretty much play with anything they can find. And a group of kias, which can be heard and seen here, is known as a circus. Kias are my favorite animal that I encountered in Milford Sound, and they frequently came to bother me while I was at work, which was a nice distraction. And here is an adolescent, you can tell by the yellow around its eyes. Very curious, trying to take a bite out of my camera. And you might notice the bands around the bird's legs. Those are put on by the Department of Conservation to help with research and monitoring of the Kia populations. Speaking of work, here is the Milford Sound Lodge. I had the privilege of waking up to this view every morning before work. The lodge is made up of a collection of luxury chalets and also camper van sites, and it's the only accommodation in Milford Sound. Located right here on the Cladeau River that flows right into Milford Sound. As a staff member, I got to live on site and enjoy this view every single day. It never gets old. My duties at the lodge included working the front desk, helping out with dinner service, and cleaning the chalets. There's about 12 of us, all living in a communal setting on site, and we just had a blast together. And alternatively, instead of making the drive into Milford Sound, one can take a flight from Queenstown over the mountains. And here's a view of Stirling Falls before the plane loops around, flies over the Milford Sound Lodge right here, right before landing at the airstrip. But my favorite way to get to Milford Sound still has to be that long drive I talked about earlier, because there's actually a number of side trips along the way. On my days off, I like to frequent some of these destinations along the road and go for a nice hike through the enchanted forests of Fjordland National Park. The easiest and shortest of these hikes is called the Chasm. Here we see this nice meandering river, and then the water decides to drop dramatically into this deep gorge. I imagine it took thousands of years for the water to carve out these rocks. And now we have this geological formation known as the Chasm. And of course, when it rains, the volume of water practically doubles, as can be seen here. And then one of my favorite hikes is up to Key Summit. Here we can see this panoramic view at the top of Key Summit. The trailhead for Key Summit is about an hour's drive from Milford Sound down that road, but it's definitely worth the drive. The hike's pretty quick, takes about three hours round trip, maybe even less. But the weather can change pretty quickly. I got caught in a snowstorm one day up there. Branching off from Key Summit is actually one of New Zealand's great walks, the Rootburn Track, which takes you through these amazing forests and then past some frozen waterfalls. In the winter, you can't actually complete the entire track because the snow just gets too heavy in the higher elevations. After hiking for about half a day, I made it to this amazing view overlooking Lake Mackenzie, but this was as far as I could go along the root burn track as the snow just became too heavy for me to go any further as I gained elevation. And another great day hike is up to Lake Marion. This glacial-fed lake is located in a hanging valley. This was one of my favorite spots to visit, and even in the winter, the lake was good for a swim. Just kidding, it was absolutely freezing. And after visiting Lake Marion, you can drive all the way down the Hollyford Road to the start of the Hollyford Track, where you will find Humboldt Falls, one of New Zealand's tallest waterfalls. But the best hikes of all were the ones only us locals knew about to secret overlooks and hidden waterfalls. I will never forget the winter I spent in Milford Sound, from the people I met and the friends I made to the natural wonders I discovered and explored. There is just so much to do and see in this amazing place, so if you ever get a chance to visit New Zealand, make sure you spend some time in the natural wonder that is Milford Sound. And remember, it's even better in the winter.
Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of Milford Sound, check out my blog at astraylife.com. And for more Milford Sound videos, check out my secret hike up Cascade Peak. Or for more of New Zealand, check out my Te Araroa videos as I walk 3,000 kilometers across New Zealand.